everyone, welcome to Q Design. I'm Janine, and in today's tutorial, I show you how to create a projector aesthetic because I saw so many interesting ideas for um, photos and photographs, and I thought maybe you have not the opportunity to use a projector for making real cool selfies. Maybe you want to know how to create a filter for Instagram instead. So let's enjoy this little tutorial. Okay, let's start with a new project and go to blank project. Hello. And show the patch editor and create at first a new rectangle. Perfect. And add the height and width to it. Material, of course. This is our projector rectangle. And this one is our projector material. And we need for this tutorial the texture extraction from our camera and also some random examples for our projection texture and you find I just created some random stuff in Canva and I just use the photos and backgrounds to find some interesting images for that and also go to this one right here and search for Google for shadow textures or for light textures this is very helpful go back and now we start, just to let you see me, hello. Start with the patch editor. So add the camera texture to it and leave it by a shader type uh, standard. And add the texture input to it. And now we need a vertex attribute and add to this one texture coordinates. And then we need to a uh, sampler for the camera texture and the vertex, a uh, texture sampler for the texture and the UV for the coordinates is the, this one right here. And we need a swivel, swizzle, swizzle, a multiply, to set it later off a little bit, just type zero right here, right now, and an add. So we use these information right here, and also we add the vertex attributes to it. And another sampler, uh, but put this add not to the texture, to the UV and add if the second one is the best example for the first step and go and need a blend mode oops perfect add the destination and we need the camera texture and you can link it directly or what i use is a sender Go to your sender and to make a receiver and put it here right in, in the source. And now visibility on, you see nothing. But when I put this in this case, I think the plus darker is pretty nice. You see this one. It's working right now, but there's no difference, just looks like a layer above your camera texture or your camera picture. But what you now can do is create with the multiply a kind of an offset. So go to the multiply, go 0 0.5 and you see the offset right here. And this looks pretty nice. You can make sure that really the X just manipulate um, the X information. 
you see this one right here it's a little bit off but you can play with uh, the swizzle with the two dimensions with x and y because uh, the information the coordinates are two dimensional so two dimensions x and y and you can put the in the multiply the x and y information so it's set off um, in this direction or minus uh, you see this right here this is because there's not enough information for spark r so it just put information to it that's why it's looked like that and you play and right here too you play can play with that or even just set the y information off so just this down put this down or use the y information in the x information and so on and so on you really can have a lot of fun i just use both of them so it's more dynamic in this case or maybe i can just flip them there's no but when you put another a dimension to it you get um, false so make sure you just work with two dimensions uh, just this one for example yeah and why I use for this um, example the shader type standard is because you can now use the information of the light when you set a light for example um, spotlight you can use the spotlight to make it more interesting so that you really it looked like looks like when that a projector uh, cover your whole face and the lightest points are in the middle and it darkens out a little bit also no, I don't. <laughs> what you can also do is of course go to your material and now we have the blend mode alpha you can set it a little bit lighter or opacity a little bit off or even here you can work with the multiply maybe it's not working well for this example but you can try here another interesting interactions and why I show you this example more detailed is because it depends really a little bit on what you use as texture for example when I use this one um, the information right here is maybe too much and you just want to use the Y maybe no or I don't know or just the X or X for both or not so much <laughs> so you can really have uh, enough ideas what you want to create with that um, or more ideas so what you can create with that this is not so interesting maybe 5 oh, 1.5 way more be way better other direction maybe and so on and so on and maybe just multiply and divide and yeah go crazy with that and just one show you last example is uh, with the um, shadow and there I would um, recommend to use the flat Uh, shader type and go to multiply here so that looks pretty nice and there you can also look up or maybe hmm, yeah and 
and that's it that's the whole tutorial i hope you enjoyed this and yeah please let me know if you have any questions or ideas for other uh, new tutorials please let me know it in the comment section down below Ding! and if you have questions of course you can send me a dm via instagram at Kino Design and yes uh, see you next time enjoy the process bye bye